guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books and Shame here with a new reading vlog that is way overdue. I am doing reading my booktube besties favorite books and it's Battle of the Booktube Besties. I've done three episodes so far. I will link them all down below, but it is Cheyenne's turn. So Cheyenne from That Tall Book Girl, I asked her like a month and a half ago to give me this TBR and it's just taking me a while, okay? I have so many books I have to read a month, but I'm finally sitting down to do this and I'm very, very excited because Cheyenne is so good at picking out new books that I've never heard of before and she loves angst just as much as I do. So I have such high hopes for her. I am nervous because this is gonna be hard to beat. I don't know where she's gonna fall. So far, these are the standings. So we have Sam at 14 out of 15 points. You can only earn 15 points. There's three books. You get however many stars I give the book. So Sam knocked it out of the park. Then we have McKay with 13.5. So she is just barely in the middle. And then Tori with 12.5. Though, to be fair, Tori didn't know that that was the project I was doing. So I might be doing a round two with Tori at some point but these are all the standings so far but it is time for Cheyenne and Cheyenne did ask me recently when I'm doing this because she's being impatient because I know I am annoying and do not do this on time but I have three very angsty books and I, I think that Cheyenne gifted me <laughs> Every single one of these books. Oh my gosh, I'm horrible at reading books on my TBR. I set so many projects for myself that I never get to books that I'm dying to read. Cheyenne literally throughout the past year has bought me all three of these books. So the first one that I'm dying to read that I'm actually really happy she's forcing me to read is going to be Dancing with Sin. So this one is a love triangle and this one I think is her sister's fiance and I think she dances. Yeah, she's a professional dancer and she moves in with her older sister and he's engaged to her sister. So it's long, but I've read an Alexandria Lee book already and I didn't love it. So I'm a little nervous, but I know Cheyenne hasn't really loved anything else from this author, but loves this book. So we'll see how this goes. I'm very, very excited. Then she changed her, her mind for one book and settled on Mr. Romance by Lisa Raven. I loved the Bad Romeo series back in like 2013 2014 I was reading those it was like prime new adult age I remember being on the beach at Myrtle Beach with my family during college and I was reading that book I remember that I like took a picture for my Instagram for that so this one is I think he's an escort and she's a journalist so I'm really excited for this one Cheyenne got it for me just because she thought I needed the book in my life that's literally what this note said I think this one was just because too this one was just just to thank you and a thank you this one is the next one so she told me she I could either read Inhale Exhale by CL Matthews or The Naked Fisherman by Julianne. This one has been on my TBR for forever. This one she said is super angsty. I'm a little nervous though because I know the heroine is supposed to be like very innocent and religious and that was the same kind of vibe I got from the K.A. Tucker series, the Wolf Hotel series, and I did not love the heroine in that book, so I'm a little nervous, but I know book two, this ends on a cliffhanger, book two has amnesia, because Lacey bought that for me and her note said, read this, it has amnesia, that's like all the notes said. This video apparently is also sponsored by Cheyenne because she got me all three of these books, but I am so excited. This is literally just gonna be an angsty filled video, and you know what? You know me, I thrive on angst. I'm the queen of angst. It is everything I love. That's why I love Cheyenne's recommendation so much. So we're gonna get reading these three and I'm so excited. I'm probably gonna start with the longest this weekend. I do wanna go to Target and Walmart this weekend. So I might take you along with me. They're coming off new Stanley tumblers at Target and I wanted to see, just peek into my Target and see if they put them out early because I don't need another one. And my goal for this year was to not overbuy things. But you know what? When March hit for some reason, I've just been buying a lot because I'm stressed and things make me happy. So I've bought some stuff on Etsy. I bought stuff from two Etsy shops actually, some Sarah J Mass merch and the Lila June Co audiobook drop. So I bought some of those things. I need to buy a new phone case because this is technically my sister's. It's Wally case and hers got a little like ruined at work. So she's like, you know, you have my other one. And I'm like, well, so now I have to buy one for her because I feel bad that I've been using this for months. So I'm going to buy her another one and buy me one because it's free shipping at $75. So I need to buy two. And then I want to get Novel Ground stuff because I want a shirt for a signing I'm going to so why not buy everything and then walmart has new winnie the pooh pajama pants so cheryl if you're watching this you are my go-to disney person um cheryl messaged me these adorable winnie the pooh pajama pants at walmart 
so I'm gonna visit Walmart and I want to go to Walmart's book section because I've not been able to find historicals anywhere so we'll see what I find there so that's my plans for tomorrow tonight I have to finish a book club book though I have my read along with Tori I'm finishing up the last Ava Hunter book so I have to read that tonight but excited for the weekend and I'm seeing my parents on Sunday I have my first movie night with my patrons I'm so excited we are watching Your Place or Mine which is the new Reese Witherspoon Ashton Kutcher movie I have missed rom-com so much so hopefully this is good I haven't watched it yet and we're watching it all together it's our first movie night and I'm very very excited if you're interested in my patreon it's always linked down below I we have our Diana Darling book club live show next week as well so it's gonna be a fun time with my patreon and I'm so so excited but that is all I have I'm gonna go do some reading so I will chat with you guys later Hi guys, so I currently have my lamp in here that I use for live shows, which makes my bedroom like so bright, but it is Sunday. I am in the middle of two books. So I started Dancing in Sin, Dancing with Sin, whatever that's called, and I'm like 60 pages in. I don't love the writing. The writer, the author, seems to be trying really hard to be very descriptive and like... I don't think they just like have a style down because like there will be a whole page describing one action and the heroine is so over the top that I'm getting really annoyed. So like he wanted to show her how to throw an axe so he like put his hands on her waist to show her how and she like, this is how it's described, she squealed and was like oh my gosh I'm ticklish and he's like oh well like aren't you used to people touching you all the time you're a dancer and she's like only when I know it's coming and I'm like he literally just like touched her waist and she like oh my gosh it's so delish i'm like really and there's so many descriptive phrases and words that are like not appropriate for the the time that it's saying i wish i had my book with me it's downstairs next time i talk to you i will show you some of them where i'm like this is like trying too hard is what it feels like with the writing so i'm gonna put that down for now because i did start mr romance on my run this morning and i really really like it so i've been thinking about that book while i'm reading dancing with sin so i'm gonna put that down and read mr romance because she's a journalist she's stuck with like all of the like clickbaity articles that she's not passionate about and she hears from her sister about this guy who's Mr. Romance and so she's trying to track him down having her friend like hack into computers and stuff to find him and he is like one step ahead of her every time and like 
doesn't let her catch him and then she's also falling for this guy who's irish and she meets him at the gym and then she meets him again and i'm like is this the same person is this irish kieran guy actually mr romance i don't know but i'm very excited to find out so i'm gonna read i do have a meeting tonight my hair is like all coming out of my clip if that's looking weird sorry but i do have a meeting tonight for something exciting and you won't hear about it for a while but i do have a meeting tonight at nine and then i'm going to bed so i am trying to read a little bit tonight but it is daylight savings it's sunday so i'm gonna be exhausted when i wake up tomorrow i know that so i'm trying to go to bed a little early today i'm about to take all this off before my meeting so that i'm just like ready to hop in bed when that's done and then it's back to work tomorrow for me so i'm hopefully gonna read more tomorrow we'll see and i'm definitely gonna work out though so i will get some treadmill time with mr romance and read more i am really enjoying this one so i'm excited for this one um and i'm excited for naked fisherman i was more excited i think i raised my expectations too high with dancing with sin because i read her new release and i didn't like it so and i, I like a problem was with the characters so now i don't know if i'm just like not into this author i'm nervous but apparently it's supposed to be angsty and taboo and fun so and i don't know if fun is the right word but hopefully i like it more we'll see i'm gonna go so i can get ready for my night and i will chat with you guys tomorrow Hi guys, so it is Tuesday today and this is my loft area. I do have my lights right there and my old office chair because I brought my new one. It was like that viral TikTok one where you can sit cross-legged and it is the best. I love sitting in this chair. Um, so it is Tuesday and I just got home from work and I have some updates for you. So I'm a little annoyed because I did look at my library to see if they had any audiobooks for this vlog and they didn't. And I realized I spelled Lisa Ray name wrong I spell her first name wrong and so I somehow like found it on my hoopla and I was just like I could have listened to Mr. Romance. I'm still like 65, 70% into that, but I did end up buying the audio of The Naked Fisherman because I was gonna do a lot of driving. I had to drive to him from school today. My sister actually works a 11 hour day shift today. So we're both gonna be at work and like you might find this a little extra, but my dogs would have been home alone for nine hours. I can't even tell you if I've ever left my dogs alone for nine hours like in their lives because my sister works nights I work days so the longest my dogs are alone is like seven hours if that and that might be because we go somewhere and um like it's two hours away all of my family like if my sister and I go somewhere far away we leave them with their parents for a day so my sister took my dogs over to my parents house yesterday so my mom was working from home so she could watch them today and I had to go over tonight so I knew I was gonna have my time driving to and from school today and to and from my parents house today so I was like I need an audiobook so I downloaded the audio of the naked fisherman and so far I'm like almost halfway through already because I also got to listen to a little bit at work and it's okay so far I am enjoying it I don't see any angst yet like I expected like super super angsty in this one and it's just fine so far I mean like she's like he's too old for me and she's very Christian her mom went to jail her dad died so she was raised by like grandparents I think who moved her to a Christian school and she is just like very sheltered about a lot of things and doesn't believe in sex before marriage kind of thing but then she's feeling all these things when she's around fishermen and he is her mom's landlord he's 10 years older her mom has to go on a business trip so she's just a and living with him and at first I don't really get any sort of like emotional co connection between them like I just feel like it's purely physical so I'm not like rooting for a relationship between them especially if it's, it's a 10 year difference because I'm like she I don't know like beyond physical like why she likes him and he likes her like maybe yes he's very successful he's a very successful guy who works in construction he's very attractive he's got a great family but then i'm looking at her and she does this doesn't seem as like well-rounded as he does and i know like oftentimes people are much more critical of the heroine than the hero and i'm like am i feeling that way in this book but i'm like he's built all this up he's like 28 very successful he took her home to his family has a great family i love them and has so many relationships he's dated like a doctor and like someone else who's very very successful and then there's her who's 18 and he's 28 and she's taking a gap year but she doesn't know what she wants to do but she doesn't have any hobbies like i don't like i don't know what to think of her like she doesn't have any hobbies she doesn't really do anything she's just working for him this summer so i would like a little bit more depth to her character like just like do something i don't know so i mean the point is she doesn't know what she wants to do but like have something to her character maybe a little bit more so so far it's fine i mean like they're super attracted to each other which 
cool but like i'm wondering where the angst is gonna come and i know it has a massive cliffhanger so we'll see if i like that but i'm also about 65 percent into mr romance and i would love if this book was dual perspective i'm so intrigued by max and i really want to know i think that was his name he goes by a lot of different things i really want to know him and it's kind of reminding me of how to lose a guy in 10 days because she's trying to write this piece on him and he's like okay i'm gonna try to make you fall in love with me if you do you can't write this article so and it's hard to tell like are their feelings genuine is he trying to just make her fall in love because of their deal and you know she has genuine feelings so he's such a mystery though and i think like, that's the point he's a mystery the heroine but i'm just like i would like to know a little bit more it would be so cool to have this also from his perspective to really get into him as a character but it's such a unique premise because like he has all these different personas he uses and i'm like but which one is actually the real him so it'd be interesting to to discover that i'll see if we do but she's obviously falling for him so i just want her to quit her job too like her boss is awful i'm just like just cut ties like you don't need this you do not need this in your life so it's good so far we'll see i feel like both of these though i don't have a good sense of what if i want to rate it right now i'm sitting at like a four star for both i'm enjoying them but nothing is like blowing me away but i have a feeling the end of naked fisherman might bump it up but i don't know about mr romance we're gonna have to see hi guys i have a bunch of mail that came that i'm very excited to show you so i've ordered a couple things and i thought i'd come on here before i chat about oh that's not good there's a mug in here and it literally says fragile. Um, we'll see. We'll see how this package fares. I ordered some stuff, which I'm excited for. And then I have updates for two books. I finished two books. So we'll see what my thoughts. I'm very excited. I already told Cheyenne. She immediately <laughs> texted me as soon as she saw my Instagram story and was like, uh, let me know what you thought. So it's not going to be a secret that maybe I won't tell her my feelings for the last one until the video is posted. But I don't know if I'm opening this this way. This is so nicely, like, look at this cool package for these. So, if you guys don't know, Lila June Co. is on Instagram, and she does really pretty designs, and she recently came out with an audiobook line. So, I had to get a mug, and it has headphones over books, and it's so pretty. I love it. It's got, like, all the residue on it, but I got the 15 ounce for when I have my tea in the mornings, so it has that design. I also got a t-shirt that I could wear to signings, so super, super excited for this. I, as soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, please. I love wearing bookish t-shirts to signings, but I haven't got any new shirts in a while because it's winter. I only want to wear sweatshirts, and I'm like, why would I buy a t-shirt in the middle of winter? So this one is so pretty okay i love it so i got the same color scheme there's two different color schemes but i got this which i thought was so pretty on black so that i could wear it with like a pink or purple sweater oh my gosh i love it look at that cute design we have the headphones just for audiobooks she had an all whole audiobook launch and i love it i'm tempted to go back and buy a sweatshirt but i don't need a sweatshirt the quality of her shirts are really nice i have three sweatshirts so i also got fabletics don't know if you care about fabletics but i got leopard i got some leopard print uh pants which are i love their leggings are my favorite i run all the time and my favorite leggings are fabletics and old navy so these i think you could get like two for 22 or something and then the rest were on sale for 20 dollars each so i got oh yeah i got sweatpants too so i got two maybe three leggings these light purple ones and I love having the pocket. Like when I travel too, I always make sure to wear my leggings with my pockets so that I can have my phone. I got sweatpants, which hopefully these fit well. I always get larges in sweatpants because I don't like my sweatpants to fit tight. But I get mediums in everything else. Oh, these are cool quality. Sweatpants. Cute joggers. They're tight at the bottom. I always, I'm wearing my hello lovely joggers right now. And then I, I really like their black tights too. So I got another pair of black. So this whole order was like $70 for four things, which is so cheap for Fabletics. And of course we got the pockets because when I run, I stick my phone in my pocket. So love my Fabletics stuff. And then I have so much I got. It was funny because I walk in and I'm like, oh my gosh, are all these packages for me? So I also ordered something from Target and I said I wasn't going to get it. And I held off for a good two months. You should be happy because Target had this brand collab 
in December. And I was like, I don't need one, it's fine. But then they came out with colors I like. So I um, went to Target Saturday. It was supposed to release Sunday. And I saw that it was out early in some stores. Went to my store Saturday and they had already sold out. I was like, this doesn't even officially release until Sunday. What do you mean you're sold out? It's a day before release and you're sold out? As you can imagine, I was annoyed. So I ordered it online the next day because they still had it. I don't know if they still have them. They sold out pretty fast the last time but they had a bunch of different sizes and you guys are probably just shaking your head at me but listen i love this brand i love i have one of 40 ounce and one 30 ounce you probably know what i'm talking about and i love my cups like i'm using them in all my live shows so i decided to get a new big one and it's in a color i love so i have green like a turquoise 30 ounce a light light pink 40 ounce and now a, oh, it's not going to pick up the color that well. It is a really, really pretty purple with a white handle Stanley mug. Now you can say these are too expensive and that they're not worth the hype. I love them. And they make me excited about drinking water, which I need to do more of. So if it's going to make me excited to drink more water, I'm going to buy it. So it has a clear straw. This one I really like because it has like the grippy on the straw. My uh, pink one does not. So yeah, my dogs are eating right now. My sister's feeding them. So if you hear that, sorry. But I finished two books. We'll start with the one I finished first, which was Mr. Romance by Lisa Raven. This one, I'm giving four stars. So right now, Cheyenne has four points. And this one, I think that the ending was annoying. I really loved uncovering more about these characters, especially the hero with his trauma. Like being raised by the kind of person he was raised by and who he was and him realizing I am a horrible person and changing himself and surrounding himself with being good. I loved him. I loved him so, so much. I don't want to say anything else about his character because like, I don't want to spoil anything, but that was so good. So good. I liked him more than the heroine. And I mean, but I still, <laughs> the ending. I do, I was annoyed because I thought they got together a little too fast and we still had like 20% of the book left and I'm like, this is when I get bored, but they had to figure it out. But like what I did not love in, which happens like in every escort romance I read, like it reminds me of Hush Hush, the characters in the escort business meets the other person because of their business. And then once they start to get together, the other person is like, now you can't do your job because I'm jealous. And I'm just like, but that's how you met them. And so the heroine was getting jealous every time he went on a job after they got together. And I found that slightly annoying. So that's why I have a four stars, but I really ended up enjoying this one. Very unique, very fun, solid pick Cheyenne. And then I've already talked to her. I finished The Naked Fisherman and I already want to read book two because I do take back what I said before. So I said, there's not a lot to the heroine. However, we, as soon as I said that, I feel like I hit like the stride of this book. The heroine has a lot in her past with her dad and wanting to, and her mom. She does things because of her connection to her parents that she doesn't know how to deal with. So like she collects Happy Meal toys because her mom did. And then she also writes crossword puzzles because of her dad. And then we learn something about fishermen that just had me swooning and like they're literal soulmates. I love them together and we have all this grappling with the heroine's past because she was raised so religiously and she, that is like ingrained in her especially like things about what the church believes in and like different characters I don't want I'm trying not to spoil anything because I think it's very important not knowing this going in but she also is like grappling with anything she does she feels guilty for even though that's what she wants especially with fishermen and so I really loved their dynamic and him trying to date and her still trying to date but then getting jealous of one another and then not being able to control themselves around each other and seeing how far it'll go and not wanting it to go too far and the ending was really good. I do think the ending was a little bit rushed so I think maybe this 4.5 stars because I feel like the second the last like quarter of this book was so good like five stars but the rest of it was four so i think 4.5 is what i'm going to settle on so cheyenne is now at 8.5 i don't know i don't remember what everyone else scored i'll have to look back i think that the highest is 13.5 so cheyenne has to get five stars for this last book girl she is not in first place right because i think that 13.5 is the highest with sam and cheyenne can tie it by getting a five stars of the last book so i have four 4.5 
which is still really really good like i am happy that my friends pick out such good books that i still really enjoy them and give them four four and a half stars there was just something about the beginning of this one and then the end of this one that i wasn't like super super in love with but i still had so much fun reading these books so very excited about these two i need to start continuing on with dancing with sin how i started it now i don't have high hopes for it being a five star because of the writing style but you never know it could surprise me so we'll see I was literally just about to wash my face and I was like I have not updated in a while so it's Friday and I've just had a busy week doing stuff having meetings chatting with people about things and so I haven't had a lot of reading time but I'm about 300 pages into Dancing with Sin normally that would mean I'm almost done with the book but it's 550 pages so it's getting better I'm still like I'm gonna read you it feels like she has a thesaurus next to her and she's like this is a word I need some another word for and like uses it. So this this passage, she says, My thudding heart ripped my stare up to the man who held me. Alarm bells and panic sirens going off left and right in my head as he spoke with as much dominance as was in his eyes. There's just like a lot of descriptive words telling things and I'm like, I don't need to know all this. Like it's trying to be very descriptive and like, Kind of like lyrical with like metaphors and like it's a it's a bit much this one oh this one too so it says in a matter of minutes this woman had reduced me speechless and i got the feeling that she had regular practice doing just that with anyone she came in contact with i was unable to do anything but tremble in front of her as my walls i can't even read this as my walls wobbled with the weight of the excessive terror she set on my shoulders what <laughs> like it's just like I'm like, what does this even mean half the time? So the writing feels like it's trying too hard and I'm like very, very distracted by it. But I'm loving the angst. Like it's getting to a really good part in the story. So like, I don't think I can give this five stars though because like the writing is so distracting. And I just like feel like it's trying too hard to be something. So, so far it grew on me. Like the romance grew on me. Like I really like her and Ethan together, but like, He's engaged to her sister and her sister's like wanting to move things forward and he's like getting all moody and she's like, I don't know what's wrong with him. And then the sister's like, well, I know what's wrong with him. So it's good, but I still have like 300 pages left, 250. I don't know what's supposed to happen next, but I do have to go to Cleveland tomorrow to visit my nephew. So I'm going to have a lot of reading time in the car. So I'm going to do that. So my goal is to read maybe 50 more pages tonight. I say that I'll probably fall asleep and then finish this tomorrow. So hopefully that happens. guys I'm here because I have finished the last book and we need to chat about it so I did I think I showed you just like a couple clips I went to my brother's house today he lives in Cleveland my parents and I both live in Columbus I don't live with my parents but I live near my parents so I went to my parents house this morning and then my dad drove us to see my brother because He's got a baby now. He was born at the end of the summer, so we try to visit when we can. Two hour drive there, two hour drive back, so I actually finished my book club Patreon pick. So I'm glad I got to do that. And then I finished Dancing with Sin. And I'm gonna give it four stars. So it was definitely very angsty. I really liked that. The situation with the sister was frustrating, which I love a messy plot. So I really liked how it was messy with them and how obviously Alice and Ethan were like obsessed with each other and in love with each other, but they didn't want to hurt Monica, but it was more so like she'd want to betray her sister. Like if it was someone else, it wouldn't be like that big of a deal, but it was the fiance of her sister, but he didn't really feel bad because like, I feel like it would have, I don't know like I don't love love when there's a love triangle kind of and the person that they're with is like you're okay with them not being together like they shouldn't be together because of a certain thing instead of like that person being like genuinely like this is the love of my life we're gonna get married we're happy and the other person being like well I don't know if I like you anymore in this sense it was like oh like you guys don't really have to be together because like do you really love each other so 
I like I'm trying to explain it without spoiling it but that's how I felt about this one and there was also a 20 page epilogue that I honestly skimmed I was like I really just want to skip this I was like no I'm gonna read the whole thing I just like didn't care at that point I was like I you guys like we have our HEA I don't need a 20 page epilogue like I don't care so I definitely skimmed it just to get the gist of it and it like played out the way I thought it would but this was good it had a time jump at the end too which I always love but it was it was good and it was it was just like the writing style I noticed throughout the entire thing the author using just very strong verbs where they were not needed it's like my the air whooshed through my lungs and I gasped because like she was surprised I was like just say like I gasped like you don't have to like describe this intense detail for such an insignificant reaction like that's how it felt the entire book and it just pulled me out of the story and I feel like that's probably why I also didn't love the other book I read by this author so I don't know if I'll read anything else by this author but I did think this one delivered on the angst definitely she fell in love with her sister's fiance and it was hard for them to get together even when like there was a breakup it was like but that's still like my sister's ex fiance now like I can't do that even though I was like if she was truly loved you she would be happy for you that you're happy kind of thing but I mean there was the cheating in there that made it messy so this was a lot of fun four stars so I think Cheyenne now is at 12.5 so I have to check my video um, from before and see where everybody landed because I she's not in number one so I know that Sam is still number one it's gonna take a lot to knock Sam off and I know Tori I think is still at the bottom which Tori might be getting a redo at some point. Oh, look, in the beginning of Sam's video, I'm wearing this sweater. Oh, 4, 8, 12, right? I gave one book four stars, one book 4.5 stars, another one four stars. So actually, Cheyenne is tied with Tori in last place, which is interesting because I thought Tori, I know for sure I gave Tori's book three or three and a half stars. So I must have had a five star in that video. I don't even remember what I did anymore. So Cheyenne is now tied with Tori. At the bottom which I was thinking this was going so well though like all solid enjoyable reads which was the same that McKay's was but I guess I had higher ones for McKay's video so uh, my friends just pick really good books like the fact that the lowest is 12.5 meaning that the average that these books are is at least a four star rating and one has a 4.5 star rating so my friends have great taste and we knew Cheyenne would deliver on the angsty and taboo and forbidden and age gap. I love that. I'm so happy I read these. These are all three books also that she had gifted me that were on my TBR for forever. So I'm really happy I read these. But this is the ranking now, which again, I'm like, am I doing my math right? It is 4, 8, 12.5. So this is the ranking now. Let me know who else you want to see do this video for me. I have two more people that I want to ask, but I'd love to know who you want me to ask and see can beat Sam off of the number one place at 14 points. I wonder if anybody could ever get 15. I don't know. I would be quite impressed if someone could get 15 points. Let me know who you think would get 15 on this video, but that's all I have. A big thank you to Cheyenne for doing this video with me and giving me these books and making me read them. I had so much fun. And let me know what you thought of these three books and who you want to see next in the Battle of the Booktube Besties. I will link all the three other videos I've done down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.